finish. Yes, finish it off. So um, there are many ways. Singleton means there will be only one object in the whole project. There will be only one object in the whole project. So even some, if somebody wants to create a new project, it won't allow you to create a new project. New, not I mean new object, okay? Not project. If, even if somebody wants to create a new object, it won't allow that person to create a new object, okay? Of that singleton class. Singleton means it's the only one object per project, okay? So there are many, there are, there are many, many different ways of creating singleton object. Today we are going to discuss about the lazy initialization of sing, kind of singleton uh, class. Okay, lazy initialization of singleton class. There are other ways. There, are, when you know, I will teach you something about thread, then you will know, know about thread shape of sing, thread shape singleton class. And there are other other way to develop singleton class as well. But today we are going to learn about the most most you know used singleton uh, class that is called lazy initialization okay so we are basically we are basically learning about we are basically learning about lazy initialization okay initialization basically learning about lazy initialization okay now what as i told you singleton class is a class which won't allow anybody to create an object okay so how can we, how can i stop that can you tell me how can i stop the, if, if 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 a class so if, it, so if it's already in a memory you don't create it no i mean how how do we create a new instantiate a new class instantiate how do we instantiate a new class i mean you create an object how do we create an object Using the using the new keyword, right? What? Yes, new, using, new the keyword. Keyword. using the new keyword, right? Now, when we yeah. call the new keyword, which part of the class is actually called? The constructor. It calls the constructor, right? And who calls the and how the constructor is being called? Because you keep the constructor usually as public, right? Yeah. Usually our constructors are kept as public. Now, if you make it private, then nobody from outside will be able to call your constructor, right? Yes. That means the class won't allow anybody to create an object using the new keyword, right? So that's the basic that's the basic idea. That's the basic first idea in a singleton class. Okay, so what we will do, we will create a we'll create a Private singleton. Okay, we'll create a private singleton. And singleton will private singleton, and then we will make the constructor as private, and maybe we won't do anything. Okay, the first first task we need to do so that nobody can create a singleton object using the new keyword. So if the constructor becomes private, nobody from outside will be able to call the constructor. Right. That means nobody. So, we have, so what we're gonna do is keep a condition that only if it's not in your memory, you can call the constructor. Yes, that's what we'll do. So that that's what is a lazy initialization. Okay. So what we'll do? So because singleton object will be will be will be only one object, right? So then that that, yeah. that that has to be unique, right? That that yeah. only one singleton object has to be there throughout the project. Yes. So for, for that. What we need to do, private dirty singleton, and maybe we can give it a name. So we are creating it, we are creating a class, we are creating a class variable. Okay, this is in the class scope, right? This instance is yeah. in the class scope, right? Because it's a static, right? And then what we will do actually, we will create a Public. Remember in the restaurant problem we did it, right? Restaurant dot get yeah. restaurant, right? Remember restaurant dot get yes. restaurant used to call, right? So we will do it public, static. Then we will do singleton or the restaurant, whatever you, you you remember that that time that was a student. Here it is singleton, and then 
get single turn okay there it was get restaurant here it will be get single turn what it will do it will do remember if you remember from restaurant object if if instance instance equal to equal to null then we will create an object then only we'll create a object okay instance is equal to is equal to new singleton singleton okay and then we will return this instance okay we'll return return this instance okay remember the same thing was done in the student problem same thing was done in the restaurant problem yes. right remember yes. all right so we are basically keeping a we are basically keeping a track if the instance is null then only create the singleton object so so basically uh, what what we need to do what, what when this will be called when the for the the first time we call the get singleton uh, form method then the singleton will be created right the first time we call the get singleton method the singleton will be created right the object will be yeah. created, right? the first time we call the get singleton okay yeah all right so now we we'll create okay. one instance but you can call but it's used for calling also you can call it no uh we will say i will show you how we'll do it we will do in the in the in the here we'll do it single turn object or maybe single turn object is equal to single turn dot because the static function get single turn so so the moment you call this the moment you call this the singleton object will be created unless you call this function the singleton object will be created that's why this is called lazy initialization it it defers the initialize or the singleton class initialization till the get singleton method static method is called okay so it yes. will the class will be initialized till the get singleton method will be is called right that's yeah. why this is known as this is this is known as uh, uh lazy 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 lazy, lazy, lazy initialization okay this is known as lazy initialization okay so this is one thing so remember this important part we have created the singleton the student class as a singleton class right if you remember so that's why because there should be only one restaurant doesn't matter how many waiter or menu or items are there there has to be only one restaurant object in the whole project right in the whole application yeah. right? that's why we created the restaurant as a singleton class okay so if you if you have, if you have got this if you, if you have got this idea then we will toss it okay it's okay right yeah all right yes so, so now we will learn another thing we this is this is called this is, this is known as singleton this is known as these are these are the part of this is the part of design pattern design pattern and this design pattern this design pattern is design pattern this is design pattern is called single turn pattern okay single pattern okay when we uh, what what is the single pattern and then when we will explore explore threads we will we'll discuss about we'll discuss about thread shape okay can we, what is about. threads threads Thread means, uh, you know, these, these are these are the concurrent program. These are the part of concurrent program. It means, means multiple multiple things will run parallelly. In computer science, how the CPU works, it can do only one thing, right? If you have multiple programs, if you have multiple applications running, then it gives a time slice to each and every application, right? The CPU will yes. give 
each and every for for example you are open browser you are open keeps and all these things so cpu will you know give that time give a time slash to the browser then cpu will give a time slash to the uh, your keeps cpu will give a time slash to something else okay so this way the time slash is been divided now in 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 case of multi threaded pro programming what will happen two things will same two things of a same application will run parallelly that means although C, all cpu will give the time slice so divide the time slice to whatever is being given to the application that process in, in in between different threads of that process okay so these are these are the parts of these are the you know these are the serious stuff these are the parts of CD scheduler you know there 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 is a the concept of scheduler in computer science um, once you go uh, to the subject like operating system uh, you will come to know about this thing but i hope uh, you pick up these things you know pretty fast i mean you pick up these things you brush up all these all these object oriented technology and all these things you need to if you want to become software engineer you will have to very soon go through all these books kind of operating system kind of data structure kind of you know all these books okay so because that that's the basic uh, you know basic things a software engineer that's the basic duty of a software engineer okay uh, so you will have you will have to know about scheduler multi threaded application concurrent programming and and now i am teaching you design pattern although um, you guys are pretty uh, you know too young to know these things but i am giving you an idea so that you know you don't uh, falter once you find such kind of code because because once you learn design pattern concept there are, there you will find many many sorts of you know object oriented code pretty easy you will find them easy to understand because you will be able to apply that knowledge of design pattern to that code because you know ace program object oriented programmers always use design pattern techniques okay so we should we should we should be familiar with this science okay all right so now uh, another this is a diamond problem properly the the know. diamond diamond ring problem yes i oh, i know it diamond ring problem you have come to know right so diamond yeah. ring, uh, you know diamond ring problem is not possible in java you yes because you cannot subclass from two classes you cannot you cannot do multiple inheritance right you cannot do multiple inheritance you can inherit only a, on, only a class and number of interfaces but you cannot you cannot sub subclass from two classes two or more classes right so there are no question of that that's the only reason why you know, java uh, engineers have avoided you know, java creators have avoided the uh, avoided the uh, you know multiple inheritance in java okay all right so this is this is this is done so now Uh, what uh, i will uh, i will teach you today another important aspect of object oriented technology that is called um, abstract sorry factory pattern okay i will teach you another another concept called factory pattern i will tell you why where this factory pattern is used and how to do that okay so these are the basic things you should know if you want to become a good software engineer i mean object oriented software engineer factory pattern okay here to talk about factory pattern okay okay class keep the main class here the from all right okay so factory pattern uh, is a pattern uh, where 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 these things are used okay so create a create a class create a class create no not class create an interface cancel it cancel it cancel it cancel it cancel it so let me tell you then you create okay then then you create okay don't 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 create it right now don't don't create it right now okay okay sure 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 so suppose you have 
uh, a superclass and from where there will be lot of subclasses direct subclasses okay from the superclass so for example suppose you have a superclass of computer then there may be a lot, lot of different types of computers right one may have pc one may have server one may have laptop one may have uh, you know whatever small computers or whatever you know have pump up whatever i mean MacBook. MacBook. there there may be lot of lot of variations yes, of sir. computer very good very good okay so so what you do so you have a common superclass you, you have a common superclass and from where you will create number of subclasses right yeah all right so for that we need a we need something called we, we use something called factory pattern and and the thing that i'm going to teach you is called parameterized factory pattern okay that 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 the thing that i'm going to discuss today is called parameterized factory pattern factory pattern can also be implemented using java generics or maybe these are also known as in c plus these are known as templates in java this is known as generics so we can we can develop factory pattern using generics as well but here we will discuss the factory pattern using the that is that is called parameterized factory pattern okay we are going to discuss about the parameterized factory pattern so let's let's discuss uh, let's uh, continue our discussion with the same example let's create an interface called computer okay let's create an interface called computer okay computer computer okay we are creating an interface called computer okay so now let me let me do some work on it for example suppose we have can interfaces can interface implement other interfaces we can implement multiple interfaces here we can implement that no can we can an interface implement another interface yes you can imp implement another interface but you know uh, you can add you know interface can be i think interface can be implemented uh, hang on you can have hierarchy of interfaces you can have hierarchy of interfaces but then uh, if it implements no if it implements they see if if somebody implements an interface it has to override it has to redefine all the interface methods right yeah but in an interface uh, you may oh, okay uh, can we add can we add them like like it'll have the same things i think we can you don't have to override we can we can exchange interface for example suppose you don't have because you are creating another interface right you are not creating a concrete class so maybe you can add some more functionality after extending the interface right i think we can do it but uh, you know i you know I, it can be done it, it's absolutely correct way of doing it but i will have to confirm how this is done okay so how how we exchange the interface okay because if we create an, another interface from from, uh, from an interface they naturally we are not we are not creating a concrete subclass that right? we are creating an interface so naturally we can add more and more functionality after extending the interface right we can we can yeah. also theoretically we can of course do that okay okay but i will have to find out you know i have may i have to find out uh, how this is i mean whether this is a term is implement term won't be implement term will be something different maybe exchange or something like that because if you implement that interface then you will have to override all the uh, concrete methods uh, all the all the abstract methods right so the term yeah. shouldn't be implemented the term cannot be implemented it has to be maybe extended or something like that okay but uh, i think an interface can be exchanged something in that that way okay so let's do a, a do a, a method called say void void say print 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 all right so maybe a single method say let's let's have a single method Called void print. Okay, let's let's have a single method called void void print. So so let's have a single method called interface, and let let's have a single method in the interface called print. Okay, now what we will do, we will create two subclass, concrete subclasses from this computer interface. Let's create it. So you do it. Do go go ahead and create it. Go ahead and create it. New new class. New class and say name it server. Name it server, which will implement the computer uh, interface. Okay, 
server and then we will implement the computer interface computer computer interface okay and now uh, finish it up all right finish it up okay this is the computer interface now uh, okay let it then create another interface another subclass called maybe pc okay let's let's create another uh, subclass uh, concrete subclass called pc which will also implement the uh, computer interface okay pc all right which will also implement the computer interface all right this one and click it and then finish it off so two classes two concrete classes which are implementing the computer interface okay now what we will I do have a question yes can we subclass and and implement interfaces can we ex, can we subclass from superclass and ex, and implement interface in one class yes that's what you know that's what we do right in the multiple inheritance in multiple inheritance java does not allow subclassing from two subclasses but we can implement an interface at the same time we can subclass a we can have a super, subclass of a superclass so we can together now what implement. is superclass uh, what is a superclass implements the interface superclass and see you you can exchange you can exchange superclass at the same time you can implement the interface right but if you implement yeah. the interface then you will have to override all the interface methods and if you extend the superclass then it's a normal way of doing it right uh, you know how you, how you extend the superclass so but if you extend the superclass and then implement the interface you will have to implement or re redesign re redefine all the interface methods right yeah so that's why java does not allow multiple inheritance but to do that it allows one sub superclass and multiple interfaces together okay instead of instead of subclassing from two classes you can have one sub superclass and then there there may be number of interfaces okay from which you can uh, create subclass okay now let let's do it uh, let's do it here so, so so that's what now depend you see so now we will uh, create a, we will create a factory class that that's what we, i said that right? we will create a factory class which will basically create a type either it will create a pc or it will create a computer depending uh, server depending upon the type of type that we pass to the you know factory okay for example so let's create another class let's create another class called Getting bored of creating classes. Go, go ahead, go ahead, do it. Create another class called Computer Factory. So it is basically it is the factory which will produce multiple types of computers. Okay, Computer Factory, Factory, and then go ahead and finish it off. Finish it off. Now let me do the rest of the part. So Computer Factory. Now let me do the rest of the part. So what we will do. In the computer factory, remember, remember. So we will have a public static static gate computer computer. What it will do? It will. See, that's why it is called parameterized because depending on the parameter, it will depending upon the parameter passed, it will create a it will create a that kind of in you know, a computer okay computer. yeah so let me have a param type string computer type okay and then that's why it's parameterized so now what we will do if if um is it void or not computer type okay uh, hang on this will be a computer right this will be this will return a computer then a computer computer type dot dot equals in our case then what do you do so maybe if this is a if this is a, this is a pc this is a pc then we will simply it meaning it does it's smaller bigger voting matter return return new 
Or mm. what is equal to no case? Equal to no case means, so even what if you... Tell me before. <laughs> oh. My broker is damn easy. <laughs> okay, you, you didn't know that. Okay, anyway, I, I missed it fairly. Okay? Not fair. It's a, it's a new PC and then... What now? What, what if, if, computer type, Computer type, computer type. Dot. Oh, okay, no dot, equals dot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's something else. Computer type dot. Keep dot again, put dot again. Dot equals ignore case. No. Ignore case is a server. If it's a server, so inside is a string. Server. And then. Bracket and then. Refresh and then return new server, right? Return new server, server, okay? server, right? Return new server, okay? So this is the factory to the pattern and server, server, server. Call the constructor. Call the, no, no, no. Call the constructor, right? Server. Oh, hang on. You do it. You do, you do it. I'm sorry. You do it. Server. Okay. Server and V E R. Okay. And then, because because not all the these things are returning null. Okay. Okay. Because you should return from all the all possible you know blocks, right? The two blocks. Yeah. You have written PC and server. So the so main block is not returning anything, so we will return the null. Okay. So this is this is what is known as this is what is known as parameterized factory pattern. Okay. Other ways, other ways to implement it is 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 using is by using i haven't told you i haven't i haven't taught uh, you this i i ha uh, i haven't taught you this thing hang on. Hang on, hang on. i don't know i ha i haven't taught this this part by using java generics java generics Java generics, okay. I have taught this thing, but you have you have already idea, right? Add a list of that list of any objects, right? Any kind of object, right? Yeah. So list list can contain any kind of object, right? Any kind of object, right? Yes. Either a yes. string or maybe the integer or boxing, unboxing that that you have already known, right? So so that that's the generics. So list is you have a common class called list, which can contain any kind of any kind of uh, object, okay, or any kind of object, depending upon the whatever you pass in the triangular bracket, okay. So uh, this is the generics, okay. This is what is the called the compute uh, factory pattern. Now, what we will do, I will show you how to do that. So, for example, suppose you have will create a so server server. Is equal to new. Sorry, no, not not new. Computer, computer factory, right? Computer factory, right? Yeah. Computer factory. Dot. Get computer, and you will pass something called server, right? Pass something called server, right? Okay, and then. Okay, that's why parameterized. Okay, depending on the parameter, then what is the what is this saying? Add static, add cast. Oh, because we should have a we, we should have a uh, super class, right? Super class S is equal to new subclass, right? So we'll have a. Yeah. Interface um, object of type 
interface type and then we'll create the uh, you know object right so then we'll have computer pc equals computer factory dot get computer and we'll pass something called for something called pc okay so it will create a pc uh, now let's verify it what we'll do in the server class using the print method you will write something called system dot out dot print children i am a server right server and then control s and the pc i'll do the pc this time do it do it do it do it do it do it, do it, do it. Okay, all right. So control S, and then we'll see what the main is doing. So here in the main, you can have either PC or server. You call the you call the you know, print function for maybe anyone. Then no, no, you call the you call the print is a part of object. You call uh, you have to no, 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 no. You have oh. to call PC. PC. Uh, yes. You have to call. Or something like PC dot uh, PC dot print right PC dot print right yeah. all right so now do we go ahead and run it see it will yeah, right. server dot print here yeah. server dot print here yeah. so very good so it will call first call the PC print and then it will call the server print okay. So now, depending upon the PC, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is what is called the factory design pattern. You will need these concepts very soon. You know, once you start developing complicated programs, these these things are part and parcel of any mature you know object oriented program. Okay, so I'm giving you this idea because these are very essential, and I I think you guys also should know the about these things. At least have some idea so that. You don't get confused when the, when once you go to some open source object oriented code. Okay. Okay. So why this is why this is important? The factory pattern. See, the factory factory class has separated fact who is the client here. The main class is the client, right? Client is using the factory class, right? Client is yeah. using the factory class. So client, this is the consumer, and the factory class is the producer. So, producer, if even if you change the product, this client is main. Client is main. Okay, here yeah, client, client, yeah, client, yeah, main. And so this is the produce. This is the server. I mean, server in the sense is the producer, right? Is the producer. So, what is happening here? It is using the client is using the producer method now because you have a factory method. You have factory method. Even if you change the server or computer creation process, that won't, that won't, you know, uh, that won't affect the client class, right? That yeah. won't aff affect the client because the computer factory has separated the client from the actual products. Okay, there is the interface right? in the in between. There's a wall that is called computer factory. So client will really interact with the computer factory so even if you change the uh, creation process of the server or pc or any any of the computer products the client won't be affected right so yeah. these are these are these are this is this is another term you should know this is known as loose coupling okay this is known as loose coupling okay so you should know these terms because these are not these are not just jargons these are very important Terms, you know, with a bit a software engineer's life, okay. Particularly object-oriented software engineer's life, okay. So, 
So you, what what it has factory pattern has done? Factory pattern has isolated the creational part of the different computers from the client. Right? Client is not yeah. bothered about how a computer is, how a different how different computers are being produced. What they what they have only they know. If they use the fact computer factory, factory they will get they will be able to get different computers. Okay, that's it, right. And factory pattern yeah. is taking care of all the creation, right? Factory class, right? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. All right, uh, sir. So today you have learned very two very important part. You have already you already had idea in the student problem that there's something called singleton class. So today you have learned about lazy initialization singleton pattern. And today you have also learned about the factory pattern, which are very, you know, very common design patterns used in, you know, software, object-oriented software engineering, and it's a very common place. Okay, the very common place is design patterns. Okay, so I think um, uh, you, if you have any questions, just let me know. If, if, if you have any, any, if you, if you have, no questions. If you have, no if, you have questions. if you have understood all these things, you just you know go ahead and do it. And just you know, it was a suggestion from my side. Think about your, um, you know, that says that tax problem or that problem. So and then try to think, try to rethink. I mean, think, think, think aloud. And sometimes you have a pen and pencil or paper and draw the class diagrams and then start working on that. Okay. So, all right. So have you done the, have you done the recursive function? What function? You you have just opened the fact factorial class, right? Oh yeah, that was factorial. You just opened the factorial class, fact. So uh, have, have you have do you have any idea about recursive function? No. Nope. Okay, let me let me show you one thing today. Uh, you 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 have done the split method, right? You you have used the split method sometimes. Split, split method. Split, split method. Split in split method in the string class. No, I haven't told you probably. Probably I haven't told you. Okay, I will. I sure. You no, know, I someday I will uh, show it to you. Okay. So suppose, uh, suppose. Let me. Okay. Let 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 it for. Let's keep it for a different session. Okay. All right, sir. Mm, good night, and I hope your exam will be pretty uh, good. Okay. So goodbye.